Hey what's up, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and if you're not new here, then my name is still Emma. You know Vlogmas, that was supposed to finish on the 25th of December, but we are still going. We're still going strong and we're going to continue to go strong until I run out of content. Anyway, today I'm going to be going through my New Year's resolutions that I set like last year for this year. So the ones I set in 2018 at the end of 2018 for 2019. And then I'm also going to be telling you guys my New Year's resolutions that I've set literally today, which is the, it's Christmas Eve today, that I've set for next year. So the goals I've set for 2020, well goals, resolutions, same deal. So I'll put a photo, cause I've done this in like my bullet journal. I'm not an avid bullet journaler, is that what you call them? I'll put a photo on the screen of the bullet journal page so you guys can see kind of what I'm dealing with here. So these are the goals that I set for 2019, goals, resolutions. I'm gonna be switching between those terms throughout the video, so bear with me. So I broke it down into five subheadings. So I had professional, academic, nutrition and fitness, communicative and lifestyle. So under professional I had two goals and these actually kind of make me laugh now. When I set them I was kind of like thinking, oh yeah, like like that's gonna be hard but probably achievable didn't realize I was gonna blow both of them absolutely out of the water so <laughs> the first one was to hit 2k subs on YouTube and bearing in mind when I wrote this goal in 2019 I was just shy of 500 subscribers and now there's literally 38,000 of you and I'm like what the heck okay anyway and the next one under professional was to reach 2k followers on instagram and i am currently i think i just looked before i'm at like 9,000, nearly 9,700, which is pretty insane. I actually revisited these goals like a few months ago and I was like, oh, I wonder if I could get like 50k subs and 10k followers by the end of the year, but that's not gonna happen. But dreams are free. Not that numbers like matter, but like when you're, when you, this is your job, when this is your job and you, this is what you do, numbers, as much as they don't matter, like don't matter, they kind of do in that. When numbers go up, there's kind of like an indication that you're like, you know, you're on the right track with what you're doing. Like that probably to some people might sound terrible, but if you understand what I mean, then you understand what I mean. Anyway, for academic, I had six goals. So the base one was to get level three excellence endorsement, which if you're not from New Zealand, that basically just means to finish school with the highest grades you can get. I also under that had to get excellence endorsement in accounting, art design, business studies, and statistics, which were like my four best subjects. And then my other subject was English, so I had to get merit endorsement, which is like the next level down. I obviously haven't got my results back yet for school. I don't get my final results until January 15th, 14th, one of those dates. So then I'll obviously know, but I may have got it in art design, but I would not have got it in any of the other subjects. The next was nutrition and fitness. So I had three goals under this. The first one to maintain a gluten-free, dairy-free diet. I don't even think I made it until the 1st of January with that one. Not gonna lie, um, but I did get a boyfriend out of it, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> the next one is to consume at least two liters of water each day. Yes and no, some days I'd be drinking about 750 mils, other days I can drink like two and a half liters. So that's definitely one I will be working on for next year. The next one was to work out exercise at least three times a week. That, that didn't happen. That really didn't happen. I've just, I've just grown to accept this year that I hate exercise. I really do, I really do with the passion. I went for a run yesterday. It was like, I made like 400 meters and I was running with Owen and I was like, sorry, I need to like, I need to stop, I need a break, this is too hard. So yeah, that's probably something I need to work on a little bit next year because obviously like, as much as I hate fitness, like you can hate fitness all you like, it still needs to be part of your like life. Like if you're just gonna sit on the couch and do, well, nothing, then you can expect that you're not gonna be in a very good state. So I need to be taking care of myself. And as much as I hate fitness, I need to do it. The next heading was communicative. So I had also three goals into this. So I had be kind to everyone and everything. Don't make a promise if you know you won't follow it up. And honestly, is the best policy, no more lies. But I feel like I've carried these three out quite well. Like I'm someone I literally cannot lie. I just can't. Like I just can't. I feel guilty. I stutter. I just cannot. My boyfriend makes fun of me for it. I'm just the most gullible person because if I don't lie, I'd expect that no one else will, but everyone else kind of does. So I just fall into everyone's traps. But that's fine. Um, we're not here to talk about that today. Next up, we have lifestyle. So again, three goals under this heading as well. So save, not spend. I feel like I did that pretty well this year. I've got a Pretty healthy university fund, although I did have to dive into that when I had to buy a new phone, but we don't talk about that. Live in the moment, so listen to other screen time a day. That absolutely did not happen. My screen time averages are about three and a half hours a day, which is pretty shocking. And then strengthen my relationship with Christ, which I feel like I've done quite well this year with that through my daily scriptures. I was wanting to attend church again this year, but that was just with everything that was going on that unfortunately didn't happen so next year I do want to make that a priority. So yeah those are my 2019 goals. Kind of did alright with those. I mean I didn't really look at them throughout the year. I kind of just went ham and then 
looked at the end and I was like, oh, well, didn't do that. Oh, well, all good. That's fine. Anyway, now we move on to my 2020 resolution. So I'll put a photo of the spread in my bullet journal of this on the screen for you guys so you can see. But on the side, I have like, I don't even know what you call it, like a little banner thing. So I have eight keywords, which are words that I want to kind of just work off this year. So I have love, faith, ambition, confidence, clarity, satisfied, breathe, and progress. So love is just like, you know, love. It makes the world go round, put it that way. Faith, so for me, this is like my faith in the Lord with church and stuff like that. Ambition, so like having the drive, coming up with the ideas and just like going for it. Confidence, I'm not a very confident person. Like you would think that, but everyone who has watched my YouTube and then met me, everyone like comments on how shy I am because it's really easy for me to literally sit here. I'm home alone. No one's here. No one can hear me saying this right now. If I mess up, I don't care because no one's here to judge me. And that's like something that I need to work on to have that same confidence when I'm around other people. Clarity, so just having clear thoughts, I get very jumbled up with my thoughts and it's really bad. Satisfied, so just being satisfied with where I am, being grateful and, and not getting too far ahead, just like having like this moment and being in the moment kind of type thing. Breathe, just to allow myself time to breathe. I am the most terrible person at being alone with my thoughts. I said this in like the vlog which went up like all today for the day I'm filming this. I am shocking at being alone with my thoughts so that's something I need to work on and progress so like not dismissing the fact that I am making progress and I am moving forward and I am doing good things rather than just looking at the bigger picture and being like oh I'm not there yet well you are getting there Emma and you need to just calm down and wait till you get there and appreciate the progress that you're making along the way so this year I separated my goals into four subheadings which are kind of a little bit messed up I'm not gonna lie I didn't plan them before I wrote them down so I went with professional, academic, nutrition and fitness and lifestyle and personal. So I ditched the communicative one because I kind of just merged it in with the lifestyle and personal. For professional I have 5 goals, so 20k followers on Instagram, 100k subscribers on YouTube, post weekly to YouTube, rely on YouTube as my primary income source and do a second merch drop. I know those are kind of more goals as opposed to resolutions. But by writing it down, it's kind of me manifesting it and hoping that I can work hard and achieve it. Again, as I said, numbers don't matter, but it's just a good indication as to how well my platform was performing. And with the like relying on YouTube as my primary source of income, YouTube is my job and my goal is to build it up so that I don't have to get a job at university because obviously I am going away from home and I get so homesick. Like, you would not believe, you would not have met someone who gets as homesick as I do. It's kind of embarrassing. It has been like that since I was a kid. So I don't want to tie myself down at university by having a job. I want to have the freedom to be able to come home. Because my parents aren't going to be home much next year either. So when they are home, I want to be able to come home and spend time with them, like in the weekends and stuff. Um, academic, I have two goals here. Because obviously I don't really, I have no idea what to expect next year at university, not going to lie. I, yeah. Could be throwing myself, I'm um, definitely throwing myself in the deep end. So anyway, stay focused on my studies and work now, play later. So basically by that I mean, like do the work now, so get it out of the way and then you can have fun later on. Next up we have nutrition and fitness, so I have three goals here. So maintain five plus a day, which could be difficult at university, but we'll see how we go. I do eat pretty healthy for the most part, but it's really difficult because I can't eat like fruits. I'll talk about that in a minute. Move my body at least three times a week. So whether that be going for a walk, going to the gym, because there's a gym on the uni campus and also I can just like leech off Owen's gym membership, which would be great as much as he probably would not want me to join with the gym, but that's fine. And then the third one, work to keep my skin clear. You can't really tell on camera at the moment, but I have psoriasis and it's not fun. It's not fun at all and I don't want to go on another medication. I just don't, like my body reacts so terribly to medication. Proper medication, not like vitamins. I'm talking about proper, like the stuff I have to go on for my skin is proper harsh stuff that they use to help people who are trying to recover from like cancer treatments and chemotherapy and stuff. Like it is intense and it is not fun and I don't want to go on it again. So I want to do all that I can to stop me from having to go back on those sorts of medications. So for me that's being really careful about what I eat. Strawberries and tomatoes are two massive triggers for my skin to flare up. Um, fruits with high sugars, like people who I talk to when they're like, oh blah, blah blah, I love fruit, and like I can't eat fruit, like I don't eat fruit, and they're like, wait, what? You're crazy. I'm like, no, I'm not crazy. Like I literally can't. So yeah, like for example, we had lasagna for dinner last night. And I woke up this morning and my skin was so sore and painful and dry. So like, obviously there's tomato and lasagna. Anyway, moving on. So we have lifestyle and personal. So I have 13 goals here. So I'll try and get through this nice and fast for you guys. But save not spend, that's kind of obvious. Spend less than three hours screen time a day. So same goal as last year, but I bumped it up an hour just to make it a little bit more achievable, especially since my job is kind of to be on my phone. Begin attending church again. So I've been talking with, I don't know if you guys know Chelsea Sadley. She has um, a YouTube channel. You should check it out if you haven't already. She goes to WinTech in Hamilton and I've been talking with her about like churches and stuff so 
I'm hopefully gonna find one in Hamilton that I'll be able to go to otherwise when I'm home in the weekends and stuff I can go to the one that I went to as a kid I'm actually going to church tonight so I'm actually really looking forward to that allow rest time because I am someone who I literally just work 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 I just don't stop until I just like burn out kind of so I need to learn to take breaks and allow myself time to breathe as I said earlier learn to be alone with my thoughts as I said earlier same thing listen to more podcasts because when I listen to podcasts I really enjoy it but then I just don't do it often enough and the other thing I was talking to Owen about we are if you haven't seen that video from the other day we are thinking about starting a podcast it's not going to be in relation to our YouTube it's literally just going to be our thing it will obviously be accessible to you guys but listen to music that betters me this is something that I've tried to do this year because a lot of songs talk about all these things that just aren't relevant to me. The amount of songs that talk about heartbreak and cheating and being like depressed and feeling down about yourself, I just can't listen to that because it's just not stuff that I want to be hearing. Drive more to reduce fear. I am pretty scared of driving. Like, not really driving, but just like every now and again when I'm driving, I'm like, oh, what if this happens? What if that? But like, I just need to like, calm down the only way to overcome those fears is just to drive get outside more often i have been outside once once today and no twice once was to go to get in the car to drive over to the train station and then i needed sausages for my lunch so i got on the car drove to the shop bought sausages drove home and got out of the car and that is it and you can see outside it's a beautiful sunny day but i just I don't know. <laughs> Get back into journaling. So as you can see, I've got this bullet journal. It's one of those really fancy little... The, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a dedicated bullet journal. And you can see here, I've done like quite a few pages. But that's from 2017. I kind of just need to get myself together and start using this again. I've also put down here to plan my time. Because I just find if I don't plan time, I just end up wasting it. And then the last thing here is to create a sleep routine. I'm someone who thrives off having a routine. So by creating a sleep routine, that really just helps get everything kind of into place. When you're like starting your day and ending your day kind of at the same times, it helps you really just get yourself together. But anyway, that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you can take some inspiration from either my this year or next year resolutions. Again, these are my resolutions. I am not asking for you to criticize them. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made this final video, please give a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have your auntie hands free. Who doesn't love free stuff? So just always link down below. Make someone smile and I'll see you in my next video. Still, Emma, communicative.